suspicions of child abuse. According to the authorities, they learned that 41-year-old Brent Lee Book allegedly forced a juvenile to watch pornographic videos with him and engaged in indecent sexual behavior. In conversations on numerous occasions, due to the sensitive nature of this case, no additional information can be released to the public. Detectives have confirmed the victim is safe and has been receiving proper care. Book was charged with indecent behavior with juveniles and cruelty to juveniles. For more information on these crime stories, visit myarthlements.com. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention has awarded the state of Louisiana $4.6 million as part of a $279 million national initiative called Overdose Data to Action. The initiative is designed to help Louisiana combat our opioid crisis and to help expand our harm reduction strategies. Here is NBC 10's Nick Summer with more details. If you had 615 plus variables around the context and circumstances of all drug overdose deaths in Louisiana, it can really tell a story about what's driving the outcomes. According to the CDC, since 2021, Louisiana has had over 2,400 deaths, all related to drug overdoses, a 37% increase since June of 2019. We've seen more of an increase in your opioid disorders and your methamphetamine disorders than anything. At any time in the past, I have never seen so many people using meth and using opioids. It's definitely on the rise. Dr. Comanche says users sometimes don't even know that they have ingested fentanyl. After we drug screen and I call them in and say, hey, listen, you know, um, yeah, I found, you know, you, you know, you got fentanyl in your system. And they will argue me down, like, no, I don't use any fentanyl, doc. I ain't, you know, no, but th what they don't understand is, is that this stuff is in everything. Comanche approves of the distribution of fentanyl strips to addicts. In addiction, you cannot say what they won't do. If they're going, if someone has made up their mind to use, I would much rather them have something at their disposal to make sure that they're using safely, right? And this stops uh, uh, the potential death, you know, because they can make an informed decision whether or not I want to go ahead and use this now that I know that fentanyl is in it, right? Dr. Comanche has a strong message for parents and urges them to take the necessary precautions to keep their children safe. If I could just get parents to understand how important it is. I think Narcan needs to be in every household in Monroe and West Monroe, right? Because we do not know what our children are doing and Narcan could save your child's life if an emergency should arise. And now, Storm Tracker Doppler weather with meteorologist Chase Ward. Still going to be hot and humid for this afternoon, so we will have heat advisors in effect for a portion of the arc when this heat and expected decline to around 105, reaching as high as 107 for later on today. Make sure you're staying hydrated and taking frequent breaks from work and exercise. Future Tracker does show we will see a few pop-up showers and thunderstorms, mainly just down to our southwest around 4 o'clock later on this evening. So these storms could produce some gusty winds that could potentially reach 56 miles per hour as we go into tomorrow. It will be mostly clear to start off the morning, but shower thunderstorms will start rolling in by about 9 to 10 o'clock later on in the latter half of the morning hours and then as we go around 4 o'clock we'll see more showers and thunderstorms that will be popping up but don't expect anything really severe but we definitely will pick up on some much needed rainfall for tomorrow and we'll be kind of clearing out as we head later on into this weekend and into the start of next week. Spending a day to high 99 degrees for this afternoon with pop-up thunderstorms. Rain chances overall stay around 20% today but tonight we'll start to see mostly clear skies with a low of only 71 degrees and tomorrow will be a little bit cooler over the high of only 94, rain and thunderstorms staying mostly cloudy. Rain chances will increase for our Friday. And as we look at the seven day forecast, will be mostly clear and less humid for the weekend. A few clouds start rolling back in next Monday, and temperatures will continue to fall to the upper 80s with the return of more scattered showers and thunderstorms by next Tuesday and Wednesday. Lows will begin falling to the mid to lower 60s through next week. Well, that's our update for today. NBC News Daily continues now. Be kind to each other. Check on the elderly and your pets. God bless.